I want you to notice what God did not say. He didn't say it was perfect. Now, the Bible says God is perfect, but it didn't say that it was perfect. Everything that God created was good, but it wasn't perfect. Now, please understand, God knows vocabulary. He knew the word perfect, and he's a perfect God. He could have made it perfect, but he didn't, did he? He saw that it was what? Good. And that's the way that God made it, good and not perfect. I believe that God was preparing us with coping mechanisms so that when you were put into situations and you discover that your marriage is not perfect, that you don't flip out and have a go, in, go into a tizzy because you're in a situation where you thought that it was going to be perfect, but then you realize you're not perfect, your mate is not perfect, so you couldn't have a perfect marriage, but it's still all good. You may have a job, and that job is certainly not perfect. I mean, you know, in these times, the economy is unstable in some areas. And I want you to just see here that although God had the opportunity to make things perfect, he simply said that it was good. Now, he knew the word perfect, he knew the word ideal, he knew the word excellent, but he simply saw and said that it was good. And it being good actually pleased God. Just it being good pleased God. Now, I think that we can learn some huge lessons from God being pleased off of what was good and not perfect. Because if he made everything perfect, the only way in order to keep it perfect is that you're going to have to strip away mankind's free will. Because if you've got something that is perfect and you give human beings free will with it, it'll be a matter of time before they take the perfect stuff and make it not so perfect. Things don't have to be perfect in order for you to enjoy it. I mean, you've got to be able to adjust your attitude because your contentment really does not depend on your contents that are around you because the people that can have great personal contentment may not have great contents in their life it's not perfect it's not ideal it's not excellent but God created the stuff and said it's good 